Coming up, the decision the Sturgis City Council made on hosting the motorcycle rally this year. And the changes made to the Paycheck Protection Program could help more local businesses. Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. We'll get to our top stories in just a moment, but first, let's get a check on your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. All right, weather it is, and it is looking to be a hot and windy day today. Drink lots of water if you have to be out working in the heat as temperatures will be close to 100 in central Kettle Lamp. Let's take a look at the maps. The other thing we're talking is the wind, which that seems to be just unrelenting here this month of June. We've had windy days, many of them, and here's another cycle of wind, the next couple, and I think that uh, that will also help to accelerate those temperatures. Here's a sample of the wind gusts right around, say, 3 or 4 in the afternoon if you happen to be outside at that point. Uh, in the 90s and 40 mile an hour winds. Doesn't sound exactly great, does it? I bet your air conditioning will be working hard today. And temperature wise, our forecast here uh, mainly 90s, 94 Sioux Falls in Aberdeen and close to 100 in Pier. We do find a little relief in the seven day and some rain chances. We'll talk more on that in a few minutes. Thanks, Brian. Last month, we saw a huge price jump at the meat counter after several meat packing plants in the area shut down due to outbreaks of COVID 19. But a lot of those plants are now back online, and as a result, meat prices are slowly coming back down, too. Like our tubes of 80%, they were, they were about $5.99 per pound, and so that's about 60 bucks for a tube. And now it's went down to $2.98 per pound, and so now it's back down to like 30 per tube. A lot of grocers still have limits on the amount of meat a person can buy. At Andy's, the only limit they have right now is just on their tubes of 80% ground beef. University officials are looking at the best ways for everyone to have a safe return to campus this fall. At Dakota State University, while some courses may have online interactions, they plan to also offer face-to-face -face classes. DSU Provost Jim Moran says they will be practicing social distancing and students will be encouraged to wear face masks. And that's not all. We have also tried to focus in on entrance and exit uh, doors to the classroom buildings, trying to minimize the, uh, just the contact that students have with each other. So we may be moving some classes to larger rooms. We may be looking at different ways of limiting, again, the, the number of students in a particular classroom. For students living on campus, they will have to sign up for an appointment to move in. Additionally, there will be extra cleaning schedules in the residence halls. Despite COVID-19, the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally will go on. In an 8-1 to one vote last night, City Council members decided to go ahead with the 80th annual event, which is just two months away. Before making the decision, council members talked with the governor's office, sponsors, local businesses, and residents for input about what to do with the rally. Businesses like Knuckle Saloon were patiently waiting for the decision. And these people are coming in away. You know, um, you know, there's still places that are totally locked down, states, and um, they have, uh, they want to come. You know, they said even if we just got to sit uh, in our campground or ride through the Black Hills, but all the bars and restaurants are going to be open in Sturgis and throughout the Black Hills, and we're, we're going to do the best we can. While the rally will go on, there could be parking regulations and sanitation stations. New changes to the Paycheck Protection Program give business owners more flexibility and allow more people to apply. In order to qualify, applicants could not have a felony conviction in the last five years. Watertown eye doctor Melanie Weiss was denied because she had a prior drug felony conviction, even though it was removed from her record and she got her license to practice back. When we spoke to her in April, she was devastated. She has since reopened her office, but can only afford to bring her staff back part-time. Now with this change, she's hopeful she can qualify. It, it has been really stressful, uh, you know, not only just for myself, but even for my staff. You know, my staff has been working anywhere from, you know, 13 to 18 hours a week. And, you know, they're having to try to get everything they can done in that short amount of time. So I know it's been stressful on them too. Um, and, you know, I just want to be able to do everything I can to take care of my patients. And I need my staff all here to be able to do that. To learn more about some of the other changes to PPP involving repayment and loan forgiveness, just go to the story on kelloland.com. 
It's a landmark decision giving job protection to the LGBTQ community. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled existing federal law forbids job discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation and transgender status. Previously, 21 states had their own laws prohibiting job discrimination based on sexual orientation or gender identity. The court's 6-3 ruling extends the scope of the Title VII of the Civil Rights Act, which bars discrimination on the basis of sex, race, color, national origin, and religion to include LGBTQ people. Sioux Falls Pride members call it a victory. Oftentimes, people accuse the LGBTQ and two-spirited community of wanting more rights or extra rights. Um, that's not something we're fighting for. We're fighting for fair and equitable treatment. Justice Neil Gorsuch, President Donald Trump's first nominee to the Supreme Court, wrote the decision. Brian? All right, as we look at weather here for today, well, hot and windy. That's uh, the main story there. You see the arrows increasing from the south. So that represents all that wind and those high wind gusts that we're going to have here throughout the mid to late afternoon. No rain yet, but we do carry at least a chance of some rain by this evening, this 20-30% outlook in the west. You'll notice as we put the future cast in motion right in through here, Rapid City, there are a few little blips that seem to dot up toward Faith and maybe Timberlake. So keep an eye on that, but I don't think that's going to be a major uh, event of showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow will start dry, but we do see a risk zone of some severe weather popping up from Aberdeen down to winter. Now, there will be cells. It's not like it's widespread rain, but just to let you know, the environment there is conducive for some storm development. And a few of these may tend to track a little farther east than future cast shows. So We'll continue to keep an eye on that outlook right now as we head through Wednesday late evening. But the vast majority of that will stay northwest of Sioux Falls. And Sioux Falls will have to wait until Thursday before more rain chances will likely gear up. That'll be along this passing cold front, which is if you look at the big picture, you can see that front right there Wednesday afternoon. So tomorrow and then see on Thursday how that kind of drapes itself across eastern Kettle Lamb, and that's your best chance that uh, you'll see at least some scattered showers and thunderstorms as uh, we go into your Thursday and Thursday afternoons. So everybody will be watching for that. Temperature-wise, well, it is cooling a little bit on the seven-day forecast. As we jump to the numbers here, we've got highs in the 80s, Thursday, Friday, and into the weekend. Overnight lows around 60, so that's pretty good. And uh, there are chances of rain still stuck in the weekend, but boy, they're they're pretty scattered. I would say right now, at this point, scattered is probably the word to use, not widespread rain at all. All right, 80 degrees for a high by Friday in Aberdeen. So cooling down, again, a couple of spots on radar can't be ruled out in that cooler weather pattern, but not looking at humid conditions. Pier, couple more days of really hot weather, and then we settle down and get back in the low 80s. A little more comfortable. A few showers or thunderstorms are possible, but it's in that 30% range starting tomorrow night and into Thursday and then also again Friday. Rapid City, talk about a cool down. 95 today, 74 on Friday. Guys? All right, thanks, Brian. And thanks for joining us for Kelo Land on the go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelo Land. Until then, you can get up to the minute developments right here on keloland.com. Now go have a great day.